What's going on guys? Guy here attention. So remember that in one of my last videos I said that we were having some big discounts with Crystal for Black Month and a lot of items have sold out by now so that is awesome. Appreciate you guys. But now we're gonna do something even bigger, much bigger. Discounts up to 80%. Yes, eight zero. It is literally too good to be true, but it's real. For example, this cap and actually every single item that we have in store will be discounted. Crazy. Now the reason we're starting this early because it is Wednesday today is because of the delivery. So it will be shipped quicker to you guys because in the weekend with Black Friday is going to be crazy. Now the past week, a lot of items have already been selling out as I said, so make sure to be quick and go check it out before you are too late and item you want is not there anymore. So the link will be in the description box down below. Now let's get the actual video started. I am so done with this guys. I just, I just want this shit to be over. Uh, no joke. I feel like I don't have a life at the moment and um, I need this to be, to be done so I can live my life again. That's how bad it is. Today is Saturday. I'm getting myself ready for the gym now. Um, pff, my mind is just gone, man. My mind, my mind is freaking gone. <laughs> it's getting worse by the video, I feel. It's getting worse by the day. Um, it's all about getting through the days now. Um, every single day is another battle against myself, you know, and, and, and it's more so a mental battle than it is a physical battle, guys, going to the gym and doing all that. Um, you know, th th that is to a lot of people already, like, very hard to do, right? Um, imagine that times two and then, well, time times five for, for a realistic, like, normal, normal person, normal day, normal feels. And then on top of that, the mental struggle, um, the diet, man. The diet is getting so tough. Like everywhere I go, I see food, I smell food, I see people eating, I, I see little little restaurants, a snack bar, and I'm, pff, I'm just losing it, guys. <laughs> Every day is a fucking war zone. Um, and I haven't even fucked up for one day. So I'm telling myself now, on some days, like I keep telling myself, like, yo, you can have a little snack, you can have something of like this or that, because you've been doing so well. And I, my mind is starting to play these mental games, man. Oh, fuck. Ah, that is one hell of an intro. I thought I would just share the realness with you guys. This is currently what my life is like. No stopping me now, guys. Time to push out the last bit of energy in the gym. Game face on, go time. Popping on a west side, cause it's West Day. I just made a thousand, do it in your face. I've been going in, oh, I'ma close the case. I can't wait no more, man, I got a bloody day. Popping on a Made a thousand, blew it in your face. I've been going in, uh, I'ma close the case. I can't wait no more, man. I got a blow today. I'ma blow today. I ain't hearing what they say. Need a blue face, I've been caring about the race. I've been trying to eat, I need more than just a taste. Now they trying to talk, who know they should know their place. Man, I'm ballin'. This ain't cap, baby, now to feel like calling. From the O, but I got a music popping. All the time, man, it started get obnoxious. Now I gotta drive down, feeling nauseous. Gotta drive top down. Then I Alrighty, there we go. The Daily Dose Oats is still here and will be here because today it is a good day. Why? Because it's a carb up day. That was actually a really solid workout, guys. Really had to push myself, but once I was in it, I was feeling it. Man, that was good. It's like a bowl from heaven. My obsession with food starts to get crazier by the vlog, 100%. By now, it is two days later. It is Monday today, and I actually quit vlogging on Saturday uh, because Saturday I, st I started filming, and then the rest of the day I really didn't feel like it. And like that is kind of a hard, hard thing I have right now is to like keep pushing out these vlogs every other day, even though like mentally I just really don't feel in the state to like be on there and present myself and make a cool video uh, because I'm just not feeling it, man. And that is kind of shitty in a way, because um, you know I promised you guys I would like document this process, and I still want to do that. Um, it's just that like some days I just really don't feel like it. So I, like I don't know if I'm how, how much I'm gonna vlog in the next two weeks, uh, because from today I have two weeks left still, actually 13 days, because it's gonna be on Sunday. Um, but guys, so later that day um, I actually took a nap afterwards, and then I went to Climax because. Um, 
you know, obviously I'm not like, it, it's, it's not my intention to party right now. Uh, I didn't go crazy or anything. Um, but the reason I went there was because Willem was playing and um, he invited me a while back. Uh, I was going to say I was going to go and he, he, you know, he was going to play some new songs and I uh, wanted to hang out as well because I haven't seen him in a while. So I basically went to hang out with him and ended up actually uh, being there for a pretty long time. Uh, left early, didn't stay all night, but um, yeah, it was a good night. It was fun. And it was very good socializing as well. And that's something I realized um, I've been isolating myself. You know, the last like two weeks I said, I barely see people, hang out with people. And the reason is that I'm, I just don't feel like people uh, deserve to be around me right now because I, I don't feel like I'm being myself and I don't feel like I'm, I'm a nice guy right now to be around. I'm not the positive energy that I normally am. And um, I'm just not feeling like myself and I don't feel like people deserve that, um, you know, that, that shittiness, the, you know, that, that, that not high energy to be in their lives. So um, that's the reason why I kind of have been separating myself and just, I started to realize that what I'm doing this this whole prep and then this this you know epic body transformation um, whereas I'm trying to reach the best shape that I possibly can trying to reach new limits is a very um, egoistical process you know it's very egocentrical everything is around me everything involves around me and like all I'm doing and all I'm thinking about is myself and my body and like you know it's it's everything is about me you know and that that just doesn't make me feel nice. It makes me feel like 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 kind of like shit in a way, because um, I you know the person I am is someone who tries to like wants to other people improve their lives, is a positive influence on others. And right now I feel like everything's about me and it should be about other people, right? Um, that is one of the reasons why I'm documenting this, obviously because I want to give you guys you know the inspiration uh, that you can do whatever you want in your life, you know, and you can accomplish big things and you you, you can have big dreams and go after them, and that's what I constantly show my channel in, in many different ways and have over the years and I will always keep doing that you know because I believe in pushing limits and I believe we can all accomplish whatever we want to accomplish right we can set goals and go after that man and start to realize that you know start to ask myself if it's, if it's worth it and you know what fucking is man uh, if you have a goal and you, you you set it you know you got it you got to make it happen you got to go after it you got to keep going and no matter what and um that is what I want to keep showing you guys but the way I feel, man, it's uh, it's not cool, you know? I'm not feeling like I'm being myself. Because I want to positively influence people and I want to, you know, be a burst of positivity, which I normally am. Um, I love that. And I just don't feel like I have that in me right now. And that really sucks. But I keep the goal in mind, guys. 13 days left. And the way I'm going to look is going to be fucking insane. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to blow you guys away. And myself, too. Uh, so I'm so excited for that. I'm so excited for all this to come together. And with all that said, here is the shape of the day. Look at those friggin' veins going in, man. That is crazy. Well, that's something to make me feel good. <laughs> now, starting this week, I'm gonna do things slightly different when it comes to training, uh, because so far I've been training with Stan every day. And um, right now, like I have two weeks left, right? So I actually have like one regular week left and then Next week is gonna be peak week. Damn, that sun hits. It's kinda of nice weather today, even though um, it's been pretty shit lately. The sun is nice, and it's not too cold either today. But so what I'm gonna do different um, this week is that I want my workouts to be fairly short and effective, and then I actually also wanna do cardio right afterwards. Um, Stan can only train like later on the day on most days because he's still, has university to finish. Yeah, this week uh, I want to do short and effective and then when I hit my cardio right after because my energy level is just not really there to like train one part of the day and do cardio in the other part of the day. I want to do cardio in the morning now. My workout later on the day is kind of shit. And since Stan can only train uh, like starting two in the afternoon most days, like four or five, it's a little bit too late for me. I want to get it done in the morning when I have the most amount of energy. So that's what's happening right now, walking to the gym that is close to my apartment uh, because today I'm kind of in a time rush, so I don't want to drive to the other gym. I just want to get it quickly done. So. so yeah, guys, my workouts are slightly different now. And that is because these are the last bits. Uh, my energy is super low at the moment. And it's just very hard at this point um, to keep doing all the exercise that I normally do. And it's not just that it's hard, but it's actually um, taxing and it's kind of dangerous to keep doing all the exercise that I normally do in the amount of volume because the risk of injury is much bigger now that I'm in such a big caloric deficit. I'm getting so lean, right? 
So I'm cutting down on the sets that I'm doing and I'm also doing less of the compound lifts. Uh, so last week, you guys, you know, still see me uh, like front squat and remaining deadlift in the last video. Um, this week, I will not be doing that. I will be sticking uh, mostly to machines and like I will keep one compound in there. Uh, now, for example, I'm doing, I'm starting off with weighted pull-ups and then I only do like two top sets and that is it, right? Um, the rest of the day, I'm just gonna do like machines and cable work. So I'm leaving out exercises such as the barber row because I've had some injuries before in my lower back. And right now is the worst time to get injured, right? Um, that is absolutely cannot be happening. So um, yeah, sticking mostly to those kind of exercises and isolation exercises and just keeping the workout very short and effective. Just blasting music on my own. I don't really feel like socializing with people. So I just, you know, get it done and that's it. Now, I've also been getting a lot of questions about my strength during you know, this prep and I will address that in one of the next videos. So yeah, I'm honestly not sure if it's the best idea to do cardio right now. Fucking hell, man. But um, it's probably best to get it all over with. You know to do this? Incline walking on a 15% incline, five kilometers an hour. Done. I think the shirt says enough. All right, guys, that is actually a great feeling uh, realizing that I'm done for the day. I don't have to go back to the gym uh, because the last couple of weeks, ever since I started this prep, I've been going to the gym twice a day, right? So it's always been morning session and I always had to go back later on the day. So now it's not the case. That's good. Just had some rice cakes there and now my carbs for the day are already done. No friggin' joke because I also had some before the workout. So now I'm gonna have 300 grams of this marinated chicken and some veggies, super simple, two ingredients. So that is a lot of protein right there, very filling meal. Also, while I eat this, let's check some of the comments on the last video. Anyone know his height? I get this question all the time and I'm 185 centimeters, which is six foot one, pretty sure. Fuck this diet, you don't look better. You look like someone with anorexia. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Cats G, looking unwell. That's exactly my mom's words right before a photo shoot. Bullets for breakfast. Sorry, but your face looks so gone and I go as far as to say emaciated. Why do this to yourself? I, I don't know exactly if I'm saying that word right, but this is the meaning of that word. I think some people are over-exaggerating it a little bit though. Just imagine how I look in two weeks from now, right? I'm, I'm not even there yet and they already <laughs> come with these comments. This is what the reality is, guys. This is what I'm trying to show you guys with the series. This shit is not normal. It's absolutely ridiculous. Um, and like, you know, not even 1% of the world is ever gonna look the way that I'm gonna look. It's some extreme shit, you know? He looks like Maculai Culkin when he came off the crack. <laughs> I'm gonna look this guy up. Oh, that's the guy from Home Alone, man. <laughs> oh my God. Gino Brouwers, high carb day, hard eyes and low carb day, mad face, and then high or low carb day during prep, skull face. Uh, that is completely accurate. I actually feel like the high carb days are kind of worse because of all the insulin spikes. I feel like complete shit. I feel like more shit during the high carb days, to be honest. Thomas can say, this guy is always cutting for some reason. Often, but to be honest, I've been in a, in a caloric surplus for a very freaking long time in total, right? I've been training for almost a decade, almost 10 years. Um, I shoot more content when I'm cutting, so that's also why, you know? I have way more videos when I'm shredding. Uh, the videos just do better. Keith Adam, been here since 90K, man. It's so awesome seeing how far you've come, bro. Always been a huge motivation to me physically and in terms of entrepreneurial endeavors. Thanks for everything you do. Those are the comments I live for, man. That's, that's awesome. Appreciate it, bro. So I'm gonna wrap up this vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. I highly appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you very soon. Peace out. This complication spin my mind, but I know I gotta keep pushing through. Yeah, I keep doing my own thing. Yeah, never looking back again. I can get it, I can make it, yeah, I know it, and I'm never looking back again. Yeah, never looking back again. I can get it, I can make it.